Hey, what's up guys? Um, time for tutorial number five, I believe. And in this one, it's a continuation of the last one, basically. And now, instead of just having one event, um, like, one button to click, where I'm actually going to show you how to have two buttons, and they're independent of each other, and like, if you click one, maybe some text will pop up, and if you click another one, another piece of text will pop up, but they're independent of each other, so you can click either one you want, and it won't affect the other one. So... It's this is very um useful when you get into more complex programs that you need to do like three or four or five, six, maybe ten um events. So so um if you don't have this code, go back to my fourth tutorial and I write I uh, actually write this code during that tutorial, so or I guess if you really want you can pause it right now and write it, but anyways, I'm not gonna explain what I've already did, so what we're gonna need is another label and another button. So private J label label two. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and name this one label one. And we're gonna get errors until we fix that. So private J button button two. And I'm gonna name this one button one. So follow closely here because I'm gonna change this a little bit. So go here, we're gonna get an error and say button one is equal to new, and then button one, label one, label one. Oop. And then button one, label one. There we go. So now we have our first button, our first label. Now we need a new button and a new label. So button two, new J button. Click for more text. Uh, yep, and then label two. I guess we'll have it'll be like the same thing except now that they're gonna be independent of each other. So label add label two. All right now, basically what we did here is we've declared a new class and then we've added inside that class we've added the button one action listener. But in order to make them independent of each other, we got to make a whole other class. So another subclass. So um, I'm gonna call this one event ev first two letters of event makes it easy and then new event or wait uh, hold on oh, this thing can work okay yeah we gotta name this class something else too so um, I'm gonna call it event 2 that way because if we yeah, and it said it can't find the class so right. if we named it the same thing as that it wouldn't work and when you click one button, both of them would just show up, so that won't work. And then you have to name this something else too, so event two, just call it EV equals new event two. And then now we're gonna add a action listener to the second button, so button two dot add action listener. And it already pops up as EV. So that's good. As you can see here we have our public class event. And so find where that class ends, which is right here go down a couple lines and type in public class event 2 and then same thing implements action listener and then public void action performed action event and it has to be the different than e so I think I'll just name it the same thing I named it up here which I, you don't have to but I just I usually do just to make it easy so just call it ev there. Not getting any errors, so set that up right. And now we gotta change the label two. So label two dot set text. This is label two's text. So now when we run this program, two buttons and two indivisible labels are gonna pop up. And we click one button, it should work independent of each other, so we'll see. click for text, now you can see words here. This is label 2's text. As you can see, we click this one, only that one showed up, and we click this one, only this one showed up. And now I'm going to teach you a little um, something on how we can actually make click this. And these words actually disappear, and we can just keep clicking it, and they'll appear, disappear, appear, disappear. So, go up here, and we're going to need two integers. 
Or I guess you could use booleans, but I'm just gonna use integers. So private um int let's call it x y so we need an x integer y integer and I th we're gonna make these equal to zero so initialize them as zero and if you don't know what this is um you should probably go back and read some basic tutorials because I'm gonna be using some if else statements too and I'm not gonna really explain what they do so all right so if x equal equal which means which means it's equal to zero, which it is when it starts. We want the label tech we want the label one to say now you can see words here. And we want it to say oh and then after this we have to set x equal to one. So now else if x equals one um tab this over, yeah, just like that. Label one dot set text and we're gonna put it back to invisible so there's actually no text inside the string and then we're gonna set x back to zero so if you didn't follow that basically since x is already zero from up here it's gonna start off as when we click the button the first time it's gonna say now you can see words here and then right when we do that we set x back to one and then then I have another statement that says if x equals one which it is because we just set it back it's gonna set the um, text back to nothing. And then set it back to zero, and it goes whoop, back up here, and text equals zero. So it's gonna keep repeating itself every time you click the button. Now I can do that here too, but we just use the y variable. So if y zero, and thing here, tab this over, and then label, or no, uh, y equals one. And then else if y equals one label two set uh, set text nothing and y equals zero. Now run this thing again. As you can see, you can click it and the text will appear. Click it again, the text goes away. Appear, go away, go away, appear, appear. And these buttons work independent of each other, so I click this one and only the label 2 pops up. I click this one, only the first label pops up. I click both of them, both labels pop up. So that's basically what I, what I wanted to show you in this one is that you can make it so one button does one thing and another one actually does another thing. So again, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe to my videos because I'm always going to come up with new ones and I'm going to teach more advanced topics pretty quick here. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you around.